Welcome back to Last of Us. We are on our way to get Abby. You know, I'm surprised a wound like this is just now uh, affecting Ellie. I mean, I don't know how much time has passed in the game. But... Long time must have uh, passed since Ellie met her because she's lost tons of weight. <clears throat> So if it'd been me, I'd have got Lev down and left Abby's ass up there. Uh, that torso wound is getting to you. See, so if I hadn't ours, I'm surprised Ellie didn't shoot her in the back as she's walking up that ravine there. Oh shit, here we go. I 
can't let you leave. I'm not doing this. Savage. Kick a bitch while she's down. Damn. I'm not gonna fight you. Yes, you will. Oh, come on, Ellie. That's cold. He's not a part of this. You made him a part of this. Thank <laughs> you. 
and Ellie lost both her fingers. Thought Abby just bit off one, but she bit off both of them. <laughs> Yep, we're back here. Uh oh, all the animals are gone. Ellie, she told you if you left, she won't be here. Yep. Everything is empty. There's the man. Hmm. 
you drinking? Coffee. Where'd you get that? Uh, those people that came through last week. Hmm. I'm a little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but I'm back. I had Seth under control. Yeah, I know. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. <laughs> Dina. Is she your girlfriend? No. No, she... That was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just... I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. <sighs> Stupid. I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but... But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. Oh. You're such an asshole. Come on, Ellie, don't be a dick. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. Somehow, the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. See you around. Yep. <clears throat> Get misty eyed seeing Joel choke up.
her leaving the guitar behind is symbolic of her letting go of her grief and letting go of Joel. Naughty dog. I gotta say, you know, along this game here, the whole time I've been playing it, I've had mixed review, mixed views of it. It's annoyed me. It's it's um, amazed me along the way, and it's pissed me off. But I almost didn't play completely play through this because the whole because the whole. Um, I don't know, I just got annoyed with it, but I'm glad I played through it. Watching Troy Baker's podcast with Alana Pierce made me want to finish it, but after beating it, I really don't have a problem with Ellie letting Abby live. I really don't. I mean, some of you probably disagree with me. But, but the whole, but that's just my opinion. You don't like it? Oh, well. Um, but the whole thing of this story is, I think, is the whole premise is you seek revenge, you best be ready to dig two graves. And that's not a literal sense that both of you are going to die but all parties involved in the revenge loses something like Ellie. She lost her fingers and she lost Dina. Abby, she lost Owen and the uh, Mel, I think that's her name was. And she lost her, her place with the wolves. So everybody loses something in revenge. It's not necessarily physical death all, all the time. But this is a very old school revenge story, like very Macbethian. I don't know if any of you read Macbeth, but um, Macbeth's desire for revenge eventually destroys him in the end. So if you watch the play, you know it eventually destroys him. But I don't really see, but as far as like people hollering this game was woke, I didn't really see none of that. I, I actually enjoyed all the characters. I Hell, I enjoyed Abby, even though I, there was some boring, you know, she took some getting used to, but. Um, it's, I actually grew to like her and Lev. Now, story-wise, it could have been done in a better order. Like, I think they should have done Abby first. I mean, we didn't need this long, drawn-out intro with Ellie and, with Ellie and Joel. I mean, that could have easily been a flashback. Same with when we meet Ellie and Dina, or when we meet Dina for the first time. That could have been a brief flashback. What they should have done was had you play as Abby first. That way you got familiar with her character and you, you grow and attached to her. And then when it comes to the moment where she kills Joel, you transition to Ellie. The Ellie and Dina's uh, path. And that's the way they should have done it. To me, that's my only gripe with this story is the order it's told in. But I honestly believe Joel would not want Ellie to kill Abby. Because if you look at it from a... I'm going to quote another YouTuber, Soldier Ed. He said, um, he said, if you look at look at uh, Ellie and Joel's relationship from a father's perspective and would a father really want their child to go out and kill the person that murdered him no he would want them to live their life as best as they could 
and not live a life of grief and rage over it. Those are not Soldier Ev's exact words, but I was paraphrasing. But along the way, I really was ready to give up on this game, but I'm glad I ran across Troy Baker's uh, podcast, Alana Pierce. It actually inspired me to keep playing it and give it another chance. So... But I I have to uh, withdraw my initial uh, review, my initial uh, view of this game. I actually enjoyed it. I did. I actually enjoyed it. Now I'm gonna go into the pros and cons of this. Pros: top-notch graphics. The gore is well done. The uh, cutscenes are well done. Um, the action is well done. Uh, yeah, the environments they're well done, beautifully rendered. The now the cons of the game is you still had that same scavenging uh, stuff from Last of Us One. I kind of wish they didn't have that in this one, but I kind of had a feeling they wouldn't get rid of it, so that's kind of become their signature trademark of this. Another gripe is, like I said earlier, the order of the story and how it's done. I wish they'd shown Abby first. Yeah, we had got used to her. And I really didn't like how the scene where Abby and Ellie finally crossed paths again in the theater. How it just cut out there and made the tension just drop to zero, and you're playing Abby's uh, backstory that leads up to that point. I just kind of thought that kind of killed the pacing a bit in the game. But I, I get why they did it. They they wanted to. Um, Oh, Ashley Birch was in this game. Awesome. Didn't know that. I thought Mel's voice sounded familiar. But, yeah, I get why they did it. I guess they wanted to not do a prologue, and I get that. Prologues are kind of losing their, um, their fad with the storytelling. But my overall rating for this game is, let's see, it's kind of tough. I'd have to say, I'll give it a eight out of, eight out of, shit, eight out of 10. Cause you know, cause I said before, my reviews will have to change when I beat the game. So there you go. But one thing I'm wondering is, is if they actually did motion capture for that fight scene at the end there. I mean, was Ashley Johnson and Laura Bailey duking it out in mocap suits? Be cool to look up. But. Neil Druckmann, though, he doesn't deserve all the trolling he's getting from this game. Nor does Laura Bailey. You shouldn't, really, you shouldn't troll anybody just because you didn't like a product they put out. If you don't like the product, just don't buy it. But man, I'm curious to where, la if they make a Last of Us 3, which... They probably will. They're, they're, they probably will. I mean, PS5's coming out soon. 
so they most likely will. So I got a feeling that Abby went to the Fireflies. That was kind of obvious there. Uh, but Ellie, though, I don't know if she's if she's going to be in the next game or did she go off in the woods and dive or dive infection. I guess we won't know till the third game comes out. And Tommy, I mean, he's going to present a problem. Especially when he finds out Ellie let Abby live. But I like this game. I mean, yeah, it has a lot of filler in it and some spots were dragging, but overall, I actually like the game. Faring Stranger. There is no sickness. Sung by Ellie herself. No toil nor danger. In that bright land to which I go. I'm going there to see my I'm just gonna let this play till the Over video runs out but I really hope y'all enjoyed I'm this series um, I know I kind of bitched Over along the way while I was playing it but I had my reasons I'll soon be free there's Troy Baker Joel trial this body in the old churchyard. Interesting fact, uh, Troy Baker is actually a musician I'll in real life. He actually has an album on YouTube. And go sing in home. Just 
stuck over, over. Oh, there's a lot of good songs in this game. Alright guys, that's all she wrote, um, please uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, share with your friends, and if you didn't, if you didn't enjoy watching, then thank you for watching all the same, um, anyway I hope y'all have a good night, and this, these videos will be uploaded shortly. And for those of you in the path of Hurricane Laura, I uh, give you my thoughts and prayers to you. Stay safe.